Hello and welcome to Learning with Joy. Today we shall be learning the present perfect tense. Before we continue in our lesson, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Present perfect tense is used to describe an action that started in the past and continues to the present. It is also used to describe a completed action that has a result that is still visible or relevant in the present. How do we form the present perfect tense? We form the present perfect tense in the affirmative like this. We say subject plus have or has plus past participle of the main verb. We add the suffix ed or d to the regular verbs to form the past participle. They are usually identical to its past simple form. From the table we have the base form of the verb, the simple past and the past participle. And you notice that the past participle is same as the simple past. Study the table. The past participles of irregular verbs do not follow a specific pattern and can take different forms. Let's look at the table. We have the base form of the verb, the simple past and the past participle. Arise, arose, arisen, be, was, were. We can we use was or were based on the subject. In the sentence and being bite beat beaten choose chose chosen eat et eaten fly flew flown forgive forgive forgiven grow grew grown run ran run see saw Seen, take, took, taken. These are just some of the irregular verbs in English language. Now let us look at how to conjugate the verb to have. We have he has, she has, it has. Or we can use the contraction form his, she's, it's. We have, I have, you have, we have, they have. Or we can use the contraction form I've, you've, we've, and they've. Examples. I have lived in this city for 10 years. She has worked as a nurse for over 20 years. They have been married for 30 years. I have seen that movie three times. She has written two books. I have learned English. She has finished her homework. We have eaten dinner. We form the present perfect tense in the negative like this. We say subject plus have or has plus not plus past participle of the main verb. We say he has not, she has not, it has not, or we can use the contraction form hasn't. I have not, you have not, we have not, they have not, or we can use the contraction form haven't. Examples. I haven't drawn a picture, or we can say, I have not drawn a picture. Peter hasn't blown out the candlelight, or we can say, Peter has not blown out the candlelight. The cat has not drunk its milk, or we can say, the cat hasn't drunk its milk. You have not broken the window. Or we can say, you haven't broken the window. 
they have not painted the house or we can say they haven't painted the house we form the present perfect tense in the interrogative like this we say have or has plus subject plus past participle we say has he has she has it have i have you have we have they examples has the tree fallen across the road has john given the bicycle to his brother have they found their keys has alice gone to the market have they visited the museum has ken fed the dogs We've come to the end of our lesson today. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.